everybody, thanks for checking out this video. Um, if you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, um, I post lots of ideas to do with the kids and activities and tons of dinner recipes, lunches, breakfast, uh, just meal prep. If you wanna take a look through, um, like, share, subscribe. What I'm gonna share with you today is um, an art activity called paint bombs and I have an 11 year old all the way down to a three year old four kids so I'm a busy mom and I have to keep the kids busy so this is one of the things that they like to do I've done this probably at least twice every summer and when as soon as it comes warm outside the kids are like oh can you make those paint bombs so let me show you what you're gonna need you're going to need a poster board this is a large one. I cut it in half because when it dries, the kids like to hang it on their like doors or their wall in their bedroom. So this is sort of like cumbersome and it's just big. So I cut poster board in half. You're going to need um, tissue paper cut into little squares, like little square pieces. It doesn't have to be perfect rectangles, just into little pieces. You are going to need um, eggs not the inside of the eggs, okay? We're gonna separate it, we're gonna put the eggs in a jar and we're going to keep the shells, okay? So I'm gonna show you real quick how to get the eggs out with keeping just the shell tops open. I have here, I've been saving eggs. I'll show you, I've been saving eggs here for now like a week and a half, like the shells. And um, I have another YouTube video in here um, how to make like an omelet in the crock pot and this is perfect to what to do with all of these eggs um, Okay, and then you're gonna need acrylic paint and then just a little bit of water because you're gonna have the tissue paper cover the holes of the egg so acrylic paint washable paint um, whatever you have on hand so I took out all the paints all the different colors and we're gonna fill those empty eggs with the paint and then we're going to cover the opening with the tissue paper and then the kids are each going to get a dozen to throw at the poster board so that's what's going to happen here so i'm going to put you down real quick and i'm going to show you how to do this egg so you know how to do this for your kids because it is so much fun so you just take an egg and let me get this set up Okay, so we have our egg. You're gonna take like the back of your knife. And you're just gonna whack it, okay? You're just gonna hit it like that. And then you just go ahead and peel the shell away on the side. Just peel it away. And the egg will come right out. It takes just a moment, but you can see it coming out. The egg white usually comes out first and then the yolk. I know this is tedious and time consuming, but it is really worth it. If you get an eggshell in there, no big deal. Just go ahead and fish it out. That's why I do this in a pink bowl, one at a time. And then once that egg is out, I go ahead and pour it into my omelet jar that will be. That's gonna be in the crock pot. So you just continue this process. So I have here four dozen of eggs because I have four kids and they can each do 12. So you just go here and you just peel off the top and then you drain it. And if it's sort of stuck or not coming out, just stab it and that sort of loosens it, breaks it and it comes out faster. You set it to the side and that goes right in your jar. So that is how you make the egg shells. Now let's fill some of these. So you're just gonna go in here, and I want to do red. No, yes, red. And then you just are gonna come in here with your paint and squeeze about a quarter of the way full. Then you take your tissue paper, and you're just gonna wet it, like this is a little water in there, and you're just gonna put it over the top just sort of seal it, just like that. You can still see what color it is in the inside, and then it's just sealed so it doesn't spill about. And you're gonna put it in your little holder, and you are ready to 
throw these whenever you get them all set up. So I'm going to continue the process. I'm going to keep going, but I just wanted to share with you an activity for the kids. We've here, we're here in Michigan and we've been at quarantine now for like, I don't know, 78 days or something like that. 10, over 10 weeks. And, um, Amazon keeps delaying my art order. Yes. A mom of four needs the art supplies. It's essential. Come on, Amazon, let's go. My kids are going crazy. I need those markers. I'm running out of paint. I'm running out of, out of all this fun stuff for the kids to keep them occupied. I ordered chalk, I wanna say five weeks ago, and I'm still waiting for it. I don't know if it's like stuck in China. I don't know what's going on. If you get some on the outside, no worries. Just put it in there, it's okay. And then we're gonna grab our uh, tissue paper, put it over the opening and then just smooth it down with water, just like that. And then each kid is gonna get a dozen and they're just gonna explode it at the poster. Um, the kids destroy these fairly quick, um, to be expected though, but they absolutely love it. And I know that your kids are gonna love it too. So I'm gonna keep going, keep filling, uh, keep filling, keep putting the paint in here and give it a try because it is a lot of fun and the results are so cool when you're done after they explode. Oh my gosh, I just, I love it too. I do one too.